People are frightened and they're demanding that we do something. Police should step up enforcement, but unfortunately, if you don't have enough police resources, how do you do that? The data says Colorado is going through a crime wave while police departments are losing officers at a rapid rate. How do you deal with the morale issues? They're pretty bad. I, I'm not going to lie. Tonight at 10, Denver 7 investigates the situation in Aurora. Violent crime is up. The arrest rate is down. One man had to call us after Aurora's slow response allowed a drunk driver to get away. The chief of police is answering tough questions about her response. Are you doing everything you can to try to curb this increase in crime? I would say we are, um, but we're open to ideas. I don't want people to be afraid to live here. In a city still boarded up from the unrest last summer. All of the officers who were involved should be fired. Last year was a call for revolution in policing. And still reeling from the death of Elijah McClain. Time is up, APD. It's a tragedy, and if we could go back to that day and change it, we would. Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson says they're now seeing a dramatic increase in crime. It's concerning across the board, and I know it's concerning for our community. An uptick she's trying to combat with fewer officers wanting to do the job. I've lost 150 officers since January of 2020. That's a lot of officers. That's alarming. It's very alarming. Is it fair to say you're short-staffed? We make sure that we're not short-staffed, but then I'm going to have to backfill with overtime. Wilson says she's had to reduce special assignments just to staff patrol. 911, what is the address of your emergency? To make sure that when someone calls 911 that we're able to come and help them. Is there a sense of them not feeling supported? I believe there is. Um, I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat that. The police are feeling not appreciated. Morale is at an all time low. She's Aurora's mayor pro tem. We need to get this under control, and it's a big problem. Francois Bergen is now calling for change and action to deal with the growing crime rate. It's exploded. Crime has exploded. Let's walk you through the numbers. Violent crime in Aurora is up nearly 35%. The number of stolen cars are up 120%. Yet, Despite these numbers, arrests are down 29%. Have you ever seen crime rates this high in Aurora? I have not. I've lived here 20 years. Enough is enough. And I've heard that from the residents, and they want us to do something. Chief Wilson blames that drop in arrests on limitations created by the pandemic. Girls were not accepting individuals, and I can tell you that some of our prolific criminals um, knew this. To change the trends, Wilson says they're also upping patrols. Thankfully, my city management has uh, allocated some funds so that I can have foot patrols out there on overtime. And this isn't just an Aurora problem. Together, we can address these. Murders are up 42% in Denver, and police there are increasing patrols in five hotspots. Unfortunately, uh, across the nation, we're seeing a rise in violent crime. Back in Aurora, where City Hall remains bandaged in plywood. Wilson says they're trying to hire new officers as fast as they can. She's also asking for the community's help. We're concerned about the summer and uh, we need everybody to be involved in the solution. We're trying to be more proactive because right now my officers are weary. Chief Wilson is set to meet with City Council on July 19th. It will be a public meeting and an opportunity for all sides to talk about solutions. I'm Denver 7 investigative reporter Jennifer Kowaleski.